So you're a young startup, you're just getting started. You have an idea uh, first, and um, you, you're about to start executing your idea, and now you're looking for validation. You go around, you ask friends, family, people you think, you know, you value. You should, by the way, or at least some of those people. Friends, family, and, 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 and others for validation of your idea, you know, um, thinking that they're going to give you the validation you need if this is a good or bad idea. And that's one of the biggest mistakes people do in business, you know. The only validation you need to get from is from customers. Uh, the only people you try, you should be trying to convince is yourself, you know, to continue motivation and all, all those things. Is, is, is your team, if you have one, or your, your co-founder, if you guys, you know, convince each other and, and to move forward, to continue. Because it's a continual machine that you have, you know, until you become profitable and you validate your business. But the mistake we make, you know, we try to convince people that bring no value to our bottom line, to our business, or don't know anything about our business, or, and 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 because of of and and we argue, we spend time arguing like it's it's in a a court case, back and forth. No, you're not. You know, you're wrong. This is it. Woo 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 woo. But that's the that's that's the the biggest mistake you can make. The amount of time you should spend convincing everybody, zero. It's a waste of time and waste of, waste of energy, which is the two most important things you shouldn't waste. Time and energy you should be focusing on, on, on trying to convince people that can bring value to your bottom line. And that's a very small group of people, you know. Uh, th those are the people that you su you should spend energy on, and even investor. A lot of time we pitch to the wrong investor. They don't see either the value that you bring, or they don't see, uh, they don't understand the, the sector, the business you in, right? That's you know, or they they just don't believe that you're gonna get to where you want to be. Whatever the reason is, you should move on. You shouldn't look at this as a failure. You should not look at their reaction or, or their reaction of not being interested in your business as a sign of failure. You shouldn't do that. Because, again, they're the wrong people you're trying to convince. I always say, when, 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 you, when you pitch, you know, it's like, I'll speak for a man since I'm a man. It's, it's like when you're courting a woman, right? When you're pitching yourself and all those things during your lifetime, you talk to different women and so so on and so forth, you know, until you find the right one. But you don't lower your value because the other women, you know, rejected you, didn't believe that you would get where you need to be at, right? You know, you, you didn't, uh, you didn't uh, uh, thought of yourself less, lesser of a man just because it was just not a good match it was just not a good match so you didn't waste your energy you moved on same thing in business you move on and i'm going to end with this because that's extremely important i've seen a lot of young men especially uh, that i mentor that you know don't even pass the idea phase because somebody out there they couldn't convince, so they looked at it as a sign that this was not going to be a good business, right? And they decided, uh, you know, maybe that I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing, or I shouldn't be starting this because this is not going to work. And then they, 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 they quit. They quit before getting started. And I'm going to tell you this. If I had to convince everybody about my business, I would have stopped a long time ago. Right, and I'm sure a lot of entrepreneurs today can say the same thing that running successful business, they will tell you the same thing. Right, you need the the only validation you need is from your customer. That's it. 
they're going to tell you if that business is good or not. Everybody else, it's just an opinion. That's it. It's just an opinion. And they give you an opinion. Whatever you do with that opinion, it's up to you. But you shouldn't take it for face value. All right, man. Take care. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Put comment below if you like it. And uh, until next time.